Welcome to Tin Can Program. This is our first video, so we will begin with an overview of the whole program. To begin the first mission now, skip ahead to 2 minutes and 10 seconds. These videos follow our written guide published on Steam. You can find a link in the video description below. The Tin Can Program is a guide to success in career mode. These videos will show each step of the program in detail. For best results, use the vanilla game and the default normal difficulty settings. No DLC is required. The program is math-free and presented in simple language. This guide is not just for new players, it's also a useful shortcut to the mid-game when starting a new career. We will lead you through the early days and set you up with everything you need to begin doing whatever you wish. To accomplish this, we will follow the contracts offered by Kerbin's World Firsts Record Keeping Society. These contracts are only offered for World Firsts, and each will only appear once. The extra rewards for these contracts will be your best source of funds in the early days. Before we begin, look over the tweaks found in the Program Basics section of the Written Guide. These tweaks will ensure that what you see in your game is consistent with what is shown in the video. If you are not an experienced player, be sure to read the entire Program Basics section to avoid some common problems. There are seven missions in the program, but the contracts appear in random order, so your path forward may vary. In addition to basic space flight, you will learn about orbital rendezvous, docking, and how to land on the moon. Each contract provides funding for the next, so there is no grinding to raise funds. If you do need to raise additional funds, the program includes a craft called Tin Can Canoe, which can be used to complete tourism contracts. This craft is no longer part of the program, and will not be covered in these videos, but the written guide contains instructions for its use. Now, let's begin the program. In this video, our flights will be very simple. We will just go straight up and back down, but there are a few important details to be mindful of. To begin, enter Mission Control to accept contracts. Get the Gather Science and First Launch contracts. Next. Enter the Vehicle Assembly Building and load Tin Can 1. Later, you can launch ships by clicking on the launch pad, but the game requires you to enter the VAB at least once. Before launch, we will collect some free science from the launch pad. Collect data from the goo canister, then create a crew report. Finally, send your pilot outside for an EVA report. Once they are back aboard, recover the vessel to collect your free science. With that done, return Tin Can 1 to the launch pad for our first flight. There is not much that needs to be said to prepare for this flight, so instead, we will use this moment to introduce our Tin Can Program mascot, Franklin the Turkey. When you are ready, launch the craft. For best results, tap the W key just a little to pitch over slightly. This will send you to a slightly more lucrative landing site. While flying, collect data from the goo canister and create a crew report. Use Time Warp at your discretion, but be aware that it may cause problems or introduce errors, especially when the situation is dynamic. If you run into trouble while using it, assume the problem was caused by the Time Warp and try again without it. When the craft begins to descend, be ready to stage the parachute at 2 kilometers. Your craft may be further out over the water, or closer to the launch pad. It all depends on how much pitch you applied, and it's really no big deal. We just want to avoid coming right back down onto the launch pad, so we can get a better reward. Once you have landed, 
Get another EVA report before you recover the craft. Back at the Space Center, visit the Administration Building and activate the fundraising program at the highest possible setting. Next, visit Mission Control and accept the Escape Atmosphere contract. Finally, visit R&D and research the three required techs, Basic Rocketry, Engineering 101, and Survivability. With that done, put Tin Can 2 on the launch pad. This will be another simple vertical flight, but this time we will gather numerous observations with many different instruments at a variety of altitudes. To manage this, we will pin each instrument's info box and close them as they are used. You can see this process happening now. All the instruments are located within the service bay, but they can be operated while it is closed. Pin the info box for the service bay itself first so that you can easily close it before launch. We have a thermometer, barometer, and goo canister for use at every altitude. Group the info boxes for each altitude target. We will visit four zones. One group for the lowest zone will not include a goo canister. We already got this data on the last flight. Save the crew report for the highest zone where it will return the most value. As you can see, Tin Can 2 requires no steering of any kind. Just be ready to stage the next booster right away and wait for the burn to complete. The four altitude zones we are targeting are in flight, upper atmosphere, space near Kerbin, and the highest zone, space high over Kerbin. We will describe each zone as we go. After you jettison the boosters, focus on collecting the data. The upper atmosphere zone extends from 18 to 70 kilometers of altitude. When we reach 70 kilometers, our contract to escape the atmosphere is complete. The space near Kerbin zone extends from 70 to 250 kilometers of altitude. When we are above 250, Get the crew report along with the instrument data. Now, just wait a few moments until the craft begins to descend and re-enter Kerbin's atmosphere. We will collect the final data after our parachute is deployed. We may descend over some steep mountain peaks. To be safe, activate the parachute as soon as the staging icon returns to gray. After the chute deploys, collect data from the in-flight altitude zone. Here, we only need the thermometer and barometer. It's no longer necessary to collect EVA reports from our landing sites, but feel free to do so if you wish, and if the craft is stable on the ground. Recover the craft, then we're done here. Proceed to the next video to learn about your first flight to orbit. That's it for this video. Thanks for flying with Tin Can Program. We are required by internet law to instruct you to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Tin Can Program is expanding to Twitch for Kerbal Space Program 2. You can find more information about that in the video description below. Thanks for watching.